sunshine. How are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the Introvert and today you find me in my home. In my kitchen, but in particular in my home. Today my original plan was to be out and about doing my chores and errands. Usually about once a week I will get up, take Gerald to work so I can have the car. We just have the one vehicle and we share that. And when I have to do chores or errands downtown, I usually pick that one day where I can go do that. Well, Joshua had, Joshua, my son, had informed Gerald and I last night that he wasn't feeling very well, that um, he was all stuffed up. He seems to have quite a bad cold. And so I gave him some Neocitron last night to help him with that. And during the night I checked up on him and discovered he had a fever so needless to say <laughs> needless to say today is not a day for running around town to do my errands so we're staying put here in the house Joshua's had his breakfast and he has a nice glass full of orange juice he's uh, had a little bit of this Robitussin here after his breakfast and now he's on the couch with his pillows and blanket and he's just about to watch Spongebob so he's just going to have a very very relaxing day. So since Joshua has such a bad cold I think I think that making him a homemade soup would be a good idea for his lunch today. I'm making him a homemade potato soup and that's what I've started already. I have the broth. Actually I used turkey broth that I had frozen in my brand new freezer. <laughs> I have turkey broth from our Christmas turkey. I took that out of the freezer and that's what I'm using as a base to make Joshua's soup for his lunch today. So that's my plan and plus I there's always things to do around the house. So if you guys all want to join me today, that would be great. It would be great to have your company. The soup is coming along really well. I have the potatoes added inside the pot here. <laughs> but I think I underestimated the size of the pot that I would need. So I think I'm going to get a bigger pot to put this in. <laughs> That's all right. I still have to add a little bit more water and some milk when all the potatoes are cooked. There's onions in there. There's a little bit of salt in there. There's some water and also the turkey broth with all those lovely potatoes. Yes, so I'm just gonna go and get a bigger pot to put this wonderful homemade soup in. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Yes, that's a lot better. That's a lot more practical to have a, a pot this size. So I'm just gonna let these wonderful potatoes cook. You can see the, the onions dangling. That was in, the, those onions were in the turkey broth when I was cooking the turkey. So they're very, very flavorful. Lots of good flavors in there. There, so that's, I've given that a pretty good stir. I'll put the cover on and let that cook for a little bit before I add some milk. The soup is doing really, really well. And I went to get some of my spices to put in the soup. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley and I'm going to add a little bit of dill. I actually grew this dill in my vegetable garden this past summer. I dehydrated it and I have it all ground up. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this dill in the soup for flavoring. You can hear it bubbling. 
Bubble, bubble, bubble. And in the living room, Joshua has actually fallen asleep. Last night, um, Joshua barely slept, he said. He had a lot of trouble sleeping last night, so right now he's he has fallen asleep on the couch. But he's nice and toasty warm. He's had his breakfast, and this will be his lunch, and then we'll have a nice, easy supper tonight, too. I'll make sure he gets his orange juice, that vitamin C. I think I'm going to test these potatoes to see if they're cooked through. And if they are, then I'm going to add just a tiny little bit more water, some milk, a little bit of homemade butter, and the dill and the parsley. I think that'll make a nice lunch. And I made this soup big enough that Josh can have some of this for lunch tomorrow too. It smells really good. You can really smell the turkey in the broth. <laughs> it's nice. The potato soup is done. I added all of those other ingredients that needed to be added. So everything is in the soup right now and the potatoes are cooked through. This actually smells quite delicious. And it is 11.53. Josh usually has his lunch right at 12 o'clock, but uh, he's fast asleep. So I think that I'm just gonna let him sleep. And when he wakes up, I'll give him some soup. <laughs> but it's all ready. It's all ready for him whenever he wants it, when he wakes up. While I was waiting for the soup to cook, I washed up some dishes. And I think I'm going to put the dishwasher on. I also folded some towels and I think I'm going to fold the face cloths and tea towels next. In the living room here, we have this little medium-sized deep freezer. And I'm actually defrosting or thawing that out right now. It's unplugged. And I'm going to wash all of the inside of this little deep freezer and sell that on Facebook Marketplace. This in here is our new upright freezer. And we did have the closet doors on there. But we were able to actually get them removed. Where we live, we are renting this small apartment. And the office, the lady at the office, her name is Monica, she and I were having a little chit-chat. And she, she knows that we have this deep freezer here. And she had said that the maintenance man could come and take the, the closet doors. They were on both those sides there. Uh, Monica said that the maintenance man could come and remove the closet doors and take them to a spot of storage that this these apartments have. There's a place of storage. So the maintenance man actually came last night, took the closet doors off, and took them away with him so we didn't have to worry about about those closet doors and it actually looks a lot better we thought we'd keep them on but no it looks a lot better without those closet doors <laughs> yes so we're excited about this new upright freezer and i'll show you inside for those of you who, ha who haven't seen inside we've only had this for like a few days actually and i'm still tidying it up a little tiny bit when I was emptying out the small deep freeze right there, <laughs> when I was emptying that out and putting the food in here, sometimes this upright freezer would make a, a lot of beeping sounds, which means that this door was open for too long. So I had to just quickly put things in, <laughs> quickly, quickly. So right now they're, they're not in a specific order so much, but I think today's the day. Everything's nice and cold. The freezer is at the temperature it should be. And I'm, today I'm gonna put everything in the order that I want. I want to have designated shelves. I wanna have like all my baking stuff on one shelf, fries, onion rings, easier meals up here, like chicken burgers up here, and then plenty of shelving for 
the meats and things like that. And with my vegetable garden this summer, I want this part here to be designated for all the vegetables, or at least a lot of the vegetables that I grow, or vegetables that I buy on sale. So it's a wonderful, large, upright freezer. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, I love this. And one of the fun projects that Gerald and I want to do is get some magnets for this. Just a few magnets and put some pretty pictures just to add a bit of color. <laughs> just to add a bit of color to our very large upright freezer. And today I'm going to clean this up and then by in a couple days we'll just put it on Facebook Marketplace to sell. back in the kitchen and Joshua actually woke up and he's had his soup he's had his lunch and now he's made his way upstairs to have a nice rest for the afternoon so now it's my turn to have some lunch I have some soup here and I taste tested it earlier <laughs> it's really good and I love potatoes so potato soup is right down my alley lots of vegetables in there lots of potatoes in there and I have this here happy new year napkin I've got to use some of these up but that's pretty cute eh <laughs> yes so now it's time my friends for me to enjoy my lunch and I want to thank you very much for keeping me company this morning always a pleasure to have you around and if you like this vlog please give me the YouTube happy new year thumbs up or Press that subscribe button, that would be great. And I have more vlogs coming up, so stay tuned, and I'll talk to you all soon. Talk to you soon, my friends. Bye. Bye. <laughs>